Welcome back to the Crypto Report, everybody. I am Crypto Kip, and today I want to talk about some big news that came out yesterday that I got to highlight for you guys. Crypto.com and Crowcoin just had a very, very big win over Binance. And this is one of the reasons, guys, that I'm so bullish on the Kronos and Crypto.com token going into the next bull run. Binance officially is pulling out of Canada just as turbulence is going on for Binance.us uh, in the United States of America as well. Uh, and Crypto.com actually has some regulatory approval to operate in a very big way in Canada. So putting these two together, I want to talk a little bit about why I am so bullish on this exchange and what else is going on when you're talking about Crypto.com in terms of the cryptocurrency space, what influencers are talking about, what the media is talking about, and what comes next. If you like the content, guys, smash up the like button, subscribe to the channel. We're doing five videos every single day for you guys. And at 10,000 subscribers, we are giving away $1,000 worth of Bitcoin to one lucky subscriber. So don't miss out. Uh, the overall market cap's doing well at 1.12. We might be having a bounce off a trillion. Uh, possibly not. Maybe we're on our way back up. We'll have to see how it plays out. Meme coins are rallying a little bit today. Quite a lot of hype around those still. But Bitcoin is just below $27,000 and a little bit green on the day, almost up 2%. Looking at Crowcoin right now, currently coming in at rank number 35 at a 6.2 cent level, down 8.32% over the last seven days. Binance Coin currently hanging on uh, to market cap spot number four, uh, still above $300. So that coin's been right above $300 for quite a while now. Let's talk a little bit about this. So Binance just shut down operations in Canada. Well, why? Well, if you look into the story, guys, essentially you will see that it comes down to regulatory concerns. Um, Canada is pushing back on Binance in a big way. It seems like North America in general has been pushing back on Binance for some reason, which has been very, very interesting to see. And CZ, the CEO of Binance, actually ended up going over onto Twitter and starting to talk about this and said, um, use a old Chinese proverb and said, basically some partnerships aren't meant to work. And just because something bad happens, maybe it leads to something better. So he's staying very optimistic, but in the meantime, uh, its competitors are looking to try to catch up. OKX is looking to catch up. Some of these other large exchanges are looking to catch up. And I see people talking about this. If you go onto Twitter, you see people saying all the time, you know, what's your favorite exchange? Binance, OKX, KuCoin, Kraken, all these other exchanges, Coinbase, they never ever talk about crypto.com. But that doesn't make any sense to me. Why? Because here you go. The Ontario Securities Commission accepts the crypto.com pre-registration undertaking operations in Canada. This is what crypto.com is doing. They're getting the proper, proper regulatory approval to operate in these countries, in the same countries that Binance is currently getting boxed out of. And so if you're looking to get in front of of a coin that is a competitor to Binance, something that could catch up to get a market cap like Binance, I really do believe that Crypto.com could be one of the best horses in that race to play catch up to the largest exchange in the world because of all the licensing plays that they have in place. And because when you look on at what's going on across social media, nobody is talking about it. I talked about the community aspect of Crypto.com in a video I did yesterday for a reason, guys. This is also another big reason here on top of all the marketing partnerships. So this is a really big story, guys. And I do believe that you got to acknowledge, yes, OKX is a bigger exchange than Crypto.com. Right now, spot volume on Crypto.com is $103 million, but it's only uh, 3x bigger on OKX at $307 million versus Binance is $2.55 billion. So uh, it's not really that far off and really going to be very interesting to see the fact that crypto.com has all these other regulatory licenses that they can catch up to Binance. They can catch up to OKX. They can catch up to all these other exchanges. Um, so it's going to be very interesting to watch this play out, guys. Now, I want to point out one more thing, again, why I want to talk about Binance versus crypto.com, because out of all the exchanges on this list, only a couple of these things have their own token. But besides that, only two of them have their own at least big um, blockchain play. They, at least only two of them have their own layer one solution. Here's my proof. If you go to DeFi Llama and you look at the different chains that are out, Binance Smart Chain, Binance, 
uh, Binance's product is ranked number three at a $4.59 billion total value locked up into the DeFi space. Kronos is number nine, guys, at $350 million, much smaller. Why? Probably because nobody talks about it, but I think that all changes in this next bull cycle. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. No other exchanges have a layer one solution like Binance and like Kronos right now that also have a token that is also a top exchange. This is a no-brainer, guys. I feel so strong about this token. I'm so excited. That's why we do so many videos about it. I know there's a huge following for the crypto.com community. I got a lot of these tokens myself, and so I'm excited for some big gains in the next bull run. This is not financial advice, but these are my thoughts for the day on some of this breaking news on Binance pulling out of Canada. That's all I got in this one, guys. I'm Crypto Kip. This is the Crypto Report. Don't forget to smash up the like button, subscribe to the channel, and as always, guys, you've got to remember to DCA, HODL, and of course, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks, everybody. Have a great night. I got two videos for you here. If you want to check them out, peace.